Maths in a minute or two. This lesson is about calculating with roots and integer indices, meaning whole number indices. So as you can see, I've got three examples here. The reason we can't use a rule of index here is because we have base numbers which are different. So for rules of indices, see a different video. So we have 4 to the power of 3 and we have 2 to the power of 4. So therefore, the only way to do this is to write them out in full. So 4 times 4 times 4, that's what 4 to the 3 means. And we are adding 2 to the power of 4, which means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64. So that all turns out to be 64, and we are adding 2 times 2 is 4, times that by 2 is 8, times that by 2 is 16. So we are adding together 64 and 16, giving us a whole number of 80. Okay, the second one. Again, we can see we've got different base numbers, so we have no choice but to write them out in full. So this means 2 times 2 times 2 this time, and we're multiplying that by 3 times 3 times 3. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, and 3 times 3 is 9, times that by 3 is 27. So we're actually multiplying 8 by 27. So we're going to do that by partitioning. So we do 8 times 20, and we'll do 8 times 7. So 8 times 20 is the same as 2 8s, which are 16 times by 10. So that's 160. And 7 8s, or 8 7s, are 56. And then we can add those together. 6 add 5 is 11. Carry the 1. 1 add 1 is 2. So the whole answer is 216. And then this last one here has got a root in it. It's exactly the same pro process. So we're going to square root 64, and square root of 64 is 8, because 8 8s are 64. And then we're going to do 2 to cubed. Now 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So we actually have 8 minus 8 here, which actually gives us 0, and that's it.